Now, let us see what does pollination mean. Pollination is an important process in the reproduction of plants that bear seeds. Without pollination, these plants would not be able to produce fruits. Yes, almost all the fruits that we eat and the beautiful flowers that we enjoy come from pollination. If you have seen yellow grains, sometimes white, black or green colored grains in the flowers, these are pollen that help fertilize the plant's cell and turn these into seeds. Pollen acts as the main component in pollination, helping the flowers and plants create seeds that grow into fruits. How does pollination work? Pollination happens when pollen created from the plant's male reproductive system called anther or stamen is moved to the female reproductive system called the stigma or pistil. This fertilizes the plant's cells to produce seeds. Have you seen how bees surround your garden? If you try to observe them carefully, bees go from one flower to another as they try to gather nectar, a sugary drink from the flowers. Nectar, which turns to honey, serves as food for the bees. And as the bees pass through each flower, the pollen sticks from the plant's anther onto the bee's legs and then gets transported to the stigma. This makes up pollination. Sometimes, bees that are bred from a big colony in a huge hive also gather pollen on purpose as they collect the nectar. This makes pollination more frequent and effective in generating seeds from the plants. Most plants rely on bees and other insects or animals for pollination, although certain plants can be pollinated by wind or water. What are the types of pollination? There are different ways for plants to be pollinated. Number 1. Cross-pollination This is the type of pollination that happens when bees travel from one plant to another carrying and transferring pollen in the process. Other insects can also help pollination in plants. These insects are attracted to the pleasant scent and striking beauty of the flowers. So if you see gorgeous flowers with different pretty colors, you can think that this is to attract insects that can help in pollination. Number 2. Self-pollination Self-pollination is a type of pollination that does not need the help of others. Pollen grains can transfer from the stamen to the pistil by itself. These plants are fertile on their own although you will find only a few plants that have this characteristic. Certain food plants like tomatoes belong to this category. Plants that do not need others to pollinate can produce seeds that grow into fruits faster, but to create varieties of a single type of fruit needs human intervention. Some plants that use self-pollination either have the capability to move the pollen from its stamen to its pistil or move its pollen to the pistil of another plant. Why are bees and other insects so important? Without bees and animals that act as pollinators, pollination will not happen. Most plants are designed for insects and animals to help transfer pollen and trigger fertilization of seeds and cannot be pollinated by virtue of wind or water or self-pollination. Losing pollinators will damage plants and wildlife that mostly rely on these insects and animals to grow. A thriving garden exists because of these pollinators. If bees and insects die, no one will be able to pollinate plants and we will lose our source of food and oxygen.